Good morning, everyone. I'm Christoph from the Agile Drawings and I have a short announcement for you. We, as a sponsor of this Embedded Recipes, donate a batch of Avenger 96 development boards to you. You can grab them in the back of this conference room and uh, it is in this bag. Next slide. <laughs> this one more. Uh, clicker. To know where this board came from. We are a small company in the very south of Germany. We are a hardware design house, manufacturer, and we provide software services. Here you can see the contact information of our company. If you're interested in something, contact us. Our website is th-electronics.com. Now let's come to the board. This is how it looks like. It was completely developed and manufactured by DH Electronics and is distributed by our partner, Aero Electronic. This board is, a, is, is, a <coughs> this board is based on the 96 boards community standard. If you want additional accessories, you can get it there. The system on chip is a STM MP15 from ST Microelectronics. The board has standard interfaces like Bluetooth, Wi-Fi, Gigabit Ethernet, EMMC, HDMI, a micro SD card slot, USB, and so on. So maybe you ask yourself, what can I do with this board? We have a practical example using this board, which is an object detection. You can see it in operation on a YouTube video. The link is on the slide, or search in the internet for Avenger 96 object detection. Now let's get a little closer to the board itself. Here you can see our systemable, uh, soldable system on module called DH Core at the bottom of the Avenger 96 board. It's our reference design for this DH Core system on module. To the STM32 MP15 system on chip. It's a dual core Cortex A7 with 650 megahertz, a Cortex M4 with up to 209 megahertz, a 3D GPU from Vivante, one gigabyte of DRAM, and plenty of IOs. It can be used in professional areas like home automation, measurement, e-mobility, machinery, healthcare, and so on. Let's talk about the software support. The U-Boot and Linux kernel support for this board is completely upstream. The Edge Electronics is maintaining it. I want to appreciate the great cooperation with Danks, and also I want to appreciate the great base support from ST Microelectronics in the Linux kernel. It's a great cooperation, and I have to mention the very good upstream job they did. In these times, that is not always the case. So thank you for that. For an open embedded slash Yocto image, you can go to GitHub for a pre-built image, or if you want to build your own image, the needed open embedded slash Yocto layers are also there. It can be easily built by using the cast tool. What needs to be done to get started? First, grab an Avenger 96 board, write the image to a micro SD card. You can get the latest image by scanning the QR code on the box. Then connect HDMI display, USB mouse, USB keyboard. Connect the board to the power. You need a power supply in the range of 8 to 18 volt DC. That's it. 
have fun. You can also use the official power supply from 96 boards. It's available on the 96 board website. If you want to have a serial connection, there is also a 96 accessory available. We have a small amount of them here. If you need one, ask for it. So what's behind the QR code? It's the Avenger 96 website where you can find the latest image as mentioned and the getting started document which is all you have to know about the Avenger 96 board. If you have issues or something is not clear, feel free to contact us. Here are our contact information. So we wish you a great embedded recipes. Have fun. Thank you.